Flutter 2.8 is out and enriches us with many new features, tools and updates. All important innovations are summarized compactly in this video. One of the main focuses of this version is performance on mobile devices. With the upgrade to version 2.8, apps will start faster, consume less memory and are generally more efficient. The launch time of the app Google Pay, which is one of Google's biggest apps, was tested on Android devices. The measurement revealed a reduced launch time of 50% on low-end devices and 10% on high-end devices. In addition, the general memory management has been optimized and further possibilities to identify performance problems have been added. For example, with a new feature for Flutter DevTools called Enhanced Tracing, that helps diagnose UI jank. Jank is a jerkiness that a user notices when moving on the screen, for example when scrolling, doing transitions or animations. Flutter 2.8 is based on the new Dart version 2.15, which also brings some innovations. One of the most important innovations concerns the concurrency of processes. Most modern computers have a multi-core CPU. This allows the computer to run multiple tasks in parallel. This has the advantage that very performance-intensive tasks can be outsourced to another core in order to maintain the performance of the app. The Dart runtime system, however, executes the entire Dart code of a program on a single core by default. Dart has a concurrency model based on so-called isolates. Isolates allow, as the name implies, procedures to be split into independent units and thus isolated from each other. The operation of these isolates was redesigned and a new concept was introduced, isolate groups. Isolates of the same group share different internal data structures. This makes creating an additional isolate in an existing isolate group more than 100 times faster and uses between 10 and 100 times less memory. A new language feature called Constructor Tofs has been introduced. This allows function references to be stored in variables. Here an example. For enums, there's a new getter called name, which returns the enum value name as a string. It is also now possible to find out the enum value by name. For this, the method by name can be used, and with the method as name map, you can now convert the enum into a map. There have also been many changes in the Flutter ecosystem. The Google Mobile Ads SDK was released to the general public in November. Included in the release are five ad formats, ad mob and ad manager support and the beta version of a new mediation feature that can be used to optimize ad performance. More information about monetization is now available on the new monetization subpage flutter.dev slash monetization. The package WebView Flutter is in version 3.0. The package provides a WebView widget for Android and iOS. Some popular packages have been declared Flutter favorites. This includes the routing packages Beamer, RouteMaster and GoRouter, the database package Drift, the code generator Freest, the analytics package Dart Code Metrics, and the GUI packages Flutter Color Scheme, Flutter SVG, Feedback, Toggle Switch and AutoSize Text. The Flutterfire plugins have been moved up from beta to stable release. Flutterfire is a collection of Flutter plugins for Firebase service integration. Some of the Firebase services are now supported in the Dartpad online IDE. And the Firebase team has released a new package called Flutter Fire UI that provides UI components like a responsive sign-in screen widget and supports features like two-factor authentication, password reset and login via Google, Apple, Twitter or Facebook. The Dotpad Online IDE supports 23 additional packages. In addition to the Firebase services, these include, for example, the packages Block, Characters, Collection, Google Fonts and Flutter Riverpod. The support of further packages is in planning. Version 1.0 of Flame has been released. Flame is a modular 2D game engine based on Flutter. Flame provides many useful tools to quickly create games and due to its modularity it can be extended with other packages like Rive for animations, audio players for music and sound effects and many more. 
Flutter 2.8 is a big step towards the stable release of Windows, Mac OS and Linux. One area that is currently getting a lot of attention is the way Flutter handles keyboard events. In addition, a lot of effort is being put into making desktop friendly user interfaces possible and work is also underway on Linux and Windows implementations on the most popular Firebase plugins. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe. That was the overview of Flutter 2.8. Thank you for your attention, stay healthy and see you soon.